In this lesson, we're going over my recommended editing apps and screencasting apps. And with those screencasting apps, some of them actually have built-in editors, which is great. You get everything all in one. Now with video editing, I've been editing video for over almost two decades now. And it's actually what I've done professionally after college and studying film production before I started my online business. But a lot of my online business does, it has me editing videos. So I'm really well versed in this. So if you have any follow-up questions, please let me know. Like anything, there are free low budget options that have limited abilities, but are great to just getting started with. And there's higher end, more expensive professional options that have more options within them, but it is going to cost more. So for your free options, iMovie that comes with Mac computers or Windows Movie Maker is a great option for PC users. And these are just great for just getting started. Filmora is sort of a low budget video editor that has a lot of features actually, uh, but you can make great professional videos with it um, and it's a great option. GoPro Studio is a free editing app that comes with your GoPro, but even if you're not using GoPro, I believe you can download it for free from their website and it has some features that make it super easy to use, especially on mobile phones and mobile tablets. You can actually edit right there. Speaking of, I don't have it on this list, but Adobe has released Adobe Premiere Rush, which is a more basic video editing app, great for on the go editing, great for editing on your mobile devices as well. In terms of professional editors though, I recommend Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro X. Adobe Premiere Pro is what I use and I've used for, for many years. It is annoying that you have to pay a subscription to purchase this app, but overall it's just the best that I found and it's the most powerful. It's what most other professional video creators are using on YouTube. There's just so many features of it and so many new updates and things that are coming out re recently that make it really the best all around video editing app with templates, with uh, graphic templates and things like that that make creating great videos easier than ever. Final Cut Pro is great for Mac users um, and I used to use Final Cut Pro um, and I really recommend it. It's just, I've been using Premiere Pro myself. I mentioned though screencasting, uh, you might wanna consider one of these apps for actual video editing as well. With just screencasting though, if you're trying to record your screen, you can use something like on a Mac, QuickTime Player, which has a built-in built -in screen recording option, which is completely free and you can record your screen. You can even record from your webcam, but that's all you can do. You can't really edit with it. Open Broadcaster Software, OBS, is a free sort of um, app that you can install both for Mac or PC users. Again, you can use this to screen to record your screen. And also a lot of YouTubers use it to live stream. So you can use OBS to set up multiple cameras or multiple angles, and it's great for live streaming on different platforms, including YouTube. Ecamm Live is another option for doing this. It allows you to live stream um, to, um, to YouTube, to Facebook, and to control different things like what camera you're using. You can even switch from using one camera to just your screen to another camera that's plugged in. You can add inputs like different audio and it's really great. You can even use this just to record your screen as well. Um, and then, so really this screencasting app session section should be called screencasting and live streaming apps that I recommend because those two are the ones that I would recommend for that. And then for a more professional screencasting workflow, I would use ScreenFlow, which is available for Mac users, or Camtasia, which is Mac or PC. And then a more low budget option is Screencast-O-Matic. I haven't used it personally, but I have a lot of friends who have and swear by it. With any of these apps, the beauty is that you can record directly with the app and then edit right within it. The editing options are a little bit more limited compared to something like Premiere Pro, but sometimes those limitations are good because it helps you be a little bit more quicker, more efficient, and it's just a little easier to use these apps. And so really, it's an all-in-one tool. I record my videos in ScreenFlow, I edit them in ScreenFlow, I export them, and I don't have to be transferring files from my computer or my camera even to my computer and then importing them into something like Premiere Pro, which I do for a lot of different projects, but for just quick and easy YouTube videos, um, sitting at my desk, something like ScreenFlow is perfect.
Cool, let me know if you have any other recommendations for all of these things. Um, I'm happy to share recommendations that you as students are using and make sure you post those to the course as well so other students can see them. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, one thing that some people ask is, can they get a student discount for any of these products by taking this course? Unfortunately, um, as just a teacher of this online course, places like Adobe, don't allow that. You have to be enrolled in like an actual university with an educational email to get those kinds of discounts. So that is one thing I wanted to say here in case you were wondering. Awesome. I hope you've enjoyed this section so far and we'll see you in the next lesson.